Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for all your love and support so far. We really appreciate it. Okay, so some exciting news. Do you want yeah, to share? let's both share. <laughs> One, two, three. So we're officially residents. Yay! Officially got our residence. Yeah, finally. Uh, about a week ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we are officially yeah. residents of of uh, New Zealand, not permanent residents, but just residents at this stage. So I think believe two years from from now we can then apply for permanent residency. So we're really excited about that. It's something that we have once from the day we arrived. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we really tried to get the process going as early as possible, and then we finally got in confirmation. So we're really happy. Uh, feels like a a sense of security for us. Yeah. Uh, with in regards to our future here, mm -hmm. uh, because we plan on on being here long term, it's always something we wanted to pursue. Mm -hmm. So really happy that we got that sorted. Yeah. <laughs> So what we're going to share with you today, guys, is the reasons why we wanted residency, some of the important benefits that come along with it, and more importantly, maybe uh, for those watching, are uh, the costs involved in getting your residency through the path that we followed. So this won't apply to everyone because there's various paths to residency, to your permanent residency, and then subsequent citizenship. But this is just the path we followed. We'll share that with you for any of those who are on a similar journey. Yeah. So... Besides the security for a future that comes with having residency, we'll mention some of the main points. And number one is buying a house. So for those of you that have arrived in New Zealand, uh, it's very likely that we are all renting. And with renting comes a lot of uncertainty because of the situation uh, and the economy. Many landlords have decided to sell, which means that uh, you are required to move in some instances or they decide to occupy the property instead of renting it out for various reasons, leaving you with no property and needing you to move constantly. We've had our own fair share of moves while we've been here, yeah. and uh, being able to buy a house is something that we look forward to uh, because of the security that provides. Uh, the second thing that we are quite excited about, or rather myself, is the fact that I can now study at the domestic rate because the international rate here is expensive. It is seriously, it is, yeah, I think a third of a million. I think it's almost 300, 350 yeah. thousand rand for international students for a year. Crazy. So, yeah, I think um, that's really positive. And then the next one, guys, is your work rights. So, uh, if you come on a, on a work visa, especially for us, uh, who came on an accredited employer work visa, there's certain limitations that that visa locks you in for. For instance, you can only work for a certain employer uh, in a certain position. So when you do get your your residence visa, you can then work for any uh, employer. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it need not be the one that you came over on. So the opportunities that come with that is really awesome uh, for myself and for Mish. And then besides being able to work for a different employer, what we found is that uh, when you come over on a work visa, there is limitations on the time because you can only basically be employed for the duration of your visa. And that is something that employers uh, often look out for. And it might not always be in your favor if you have a limited period on your visa. So with your residence visa, there's no limitations anymore because it allows you to stay indefinitely. Uh, it's not a problem for prospective employers. So that's really awesome for us and any future jobs. And lastly, one of the things we consider to be a big benefit with our with receiving our residency now is that we can start to contribute to KiwiSaver, which is the equivalent of a pension back home. Um, so that's something we've been missing out on um, for a whole year. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a lot. Yeah, and it is a lot because it, here your employer also contributes, yeah. same as home, but um, of course in the New Zealand dollar it... It's a lot to miss out on a whole year because of a Kiwi saver. Absolutely. So even while we were able to save on our own, we miss out on all employer contributions. And in the long term, that's something that uh, can accumulate to quite a large amount. So we're really awesome to be able to, or excited to be able to make use of that benefit. Yeah. And we will be signing up for the nearest Kiwi saver. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. And then lastly, guys, just overall, we did mention buying a house. But uh, having your residence makes access to credit much easier. 
so previously, um, buying a house, uh, we also mentioned the process with buying a car. Uh, that is a pain when you're on a work visa because of the limitations of it. But with residency, you can shop around, uh, get pre-approval for a home, a car, and do it at a more relaxed place because you have the certainty that comes with having uh, long-term stability. Okay guys, and then just a bonus point about uh, getting your residency visa. If you were to have uh, a child uh, while in possession of this visa, that child uh, will not need any visa. They are in fact citizens of New Zealand. So for us, we intend to stay here long term. This is a big plus for us as well. We look forward to the little ones having their little black passports. <laughs> so very excited for that and a big positive for us. The fact that they don't have to go through the same processes that we have gone through mm -hmm. and they will get all the rights that citizens do because they will be citizens. Yeah. 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 Awesome. And then the last part of this video is just for us to share some of the costs involved um, to getting our residency. So the first was we had to um, renew our police clearances. It had lapsed just as we were about to apply, which was a year. So it was only valid for a year. And so we had to um, get uh, a supplier to help us um, get new police clearances from South Africa. Yeah. Uh, so that was a bit unfortunate because if we had perhaps pursued the process a bit earlier, we could have saved this cost, but that's, uh, that's life. Uh, so what is more important is that there are suppliers locally in New Zealand that can help you get your South African police clearance. Uh, you work through them, they ship the documents, uh, the application is done at the local police station and the documents are then um, shipped back to New Zealand. So the process was seamless. Yeah. We really appreciated the kind of service we got. And if guys, if you, if you need uh, to make use of such a service, let us know in the comments and we're happy to share those details with you. Yeah. The cost of police clearance certificates for Mish and myself was a total of $345. This included the service fee of the supplier, the cost of the actual police clearance certificates in South Africa, and uh, the shipping costs. So I think that's reasonable. Yes. The next thing that we had to do was English tests, which is unfortunate because previously um, applicants did not um, have to do these, these English tests. We didn't mind, but we thought that it was sufficient just to give supporting documentation from our universities that we attended um, an English university. but. Um, I guess they don't consider our English as superior. <laughs> but anyways, um, so Zane and I did the IELTS. It's the International English Language Test. Um, and in there are four parts. I think you do speaking, you do a speaking test, a reading, listening, and writing. And you have to score a specific um, mark or within a band um, for you to qualify or to be eligible to apply for your residency. Yeah. Um, it's more than doable. There's yeah. a lot of help, um, practice tests and examples. Um, so that went well. Yeah. But it was very expensive. <laughs> yeah. So that's what was upsetting is the fact that, I mean, we're here, we're qualified, we can speak English, um, but we still had to prove that we okay. can speak English. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was four hundred and ten dollars each. So altogether, we paid eight hundred and twenty dollars. Yep. So quite an expense. Uh, you might feel a bit hard done if you're from an English-speaking background like we are. Uh, but those are the rules we have to play by, and we're happy to get that done. <laughs> <laughs> so eight hundred and twenty dollars for the both of us. Yeah. Um, more painful than the financial cost is the amount of time it's going to take out of your day. And I think it takes four to five hours, or so depending on your on your schedule and the time between tests, it can take your entire day. Yeah. So be prepared for that. Yeah. If you want to know more about the website and the, the, the service provider we use, let us know. Yeah. 
Okay, and then the last cost, guys, is the cost of the actual visa, so visa application, yes. So once again, uh, as with our previous visas, we did it all ourselves. We don't advocate for this necessarily. It's what we do, it works for us. Yeah. Uh, we've never had issues doing applications ourselves, but it can be tricky. And if you're uncertain and unsure, consult uh, and make sure that you do the process properly because yeah. uh, a submission with errors in the application could result in the application being declined and you losing your money. So be sure that it, when you do it, it's done properly. Yeah. And it's very expensive to get it wrong. Yeah. You will regret it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take your time if you're doing it yourself and you should have no issues. Uh, credit to Immigration New Zealand, the instructions are very straightforward. Yeah. Uh, they're not trying to trick you, so take your time doing it and you'll be more than fine. So guys, the total cost for the residency visa covering myself, Mish, and Zara, a total of $4,290. <laughs> yeah. So you'll see that everything combined for this visa cost us almost half the cost that we incurred to actually come here mm -hmm. in the first place, if you watch our first video. So all starting to add up, but in the long run, uh, we know it will be worth it and it's in line with our goals and the life that we see for ourselves. So more than happy to get these things paid now. Yeah. Uh, we will say that when you are here and you're earning in dollars, uh, these costs uh, seem more reasonable. But when you incur these costs and you're earning in rands, they seem excessive. So be mindful of, 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 of that and that when you are at a stage where you are able to apply for this, you will have been earning money for a bit of time and if you save appropriately for these big costs you mm. should be able to cover them without too much strain uh, on your finances yeah so yeah thank you um yeah we're excited for the <laughs> residents yeah looking forward to whatever uh new developments that are yeah. in the future yeah anything <laughs> whatever <laughs> yeah we're excited uh it's starting to feel more like home every day Mm. and we're thankful to be here and thankful for the opportunity and we're thankful to you guys for watching thank you for interacting thank you for being along with us on this journey like subscribe comment let us know what you want to see and we're more than happy to help thank you bye guys bye